Now, the bid to oust Nelson Mandela Bay Mayor Athol Trollope has proved unsuccessful as the opposition coalition failed to agree on a number of issues. The highly anticipated Nelson Mandela Bay Council meeting has been adjourned. Amongst the issues that were to be debated in the meeting is a motion of no confidence against the Mayor Athol Trollope, Speaker Jonathan Lawak and Chief Whip Varna Senegal. Opposition parties, the ANC, the EFF, the UDM and the AIC walked out, citing that they'd received the agendas late. The Speaker had adjourned the meeting as it did not meet the quorum. PA Councillor Marlon Daniels says he will not vote against Trollope going forward. Well, joining us now from our Port Elizabeth studio is the Speaker of the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro, Jonathan Lawak. Uh, Jonathan, good evening to you and thank you for talking to us. I mean, yet another survival for you, the Mayor and the Chief Whip. Uh, thank you for having me and thank you um, for allowing us to put our case forward. Uh, unfortunately, the opposition parties brought a spurious excuse for challenging the validity of our council meeting of today, claiming that they received their agendas not as prescribed by the rules five business days before the meeting, but some claimed to have received their agendas four days prior to the, agenda, to the uh, council meeting. And let me state that during the time of the ANC, it was common practice not to receive your agendas on time. We moaned and groaned about that, but the government of the day, the ANC, just ignored that. And it was ironic today that the ANC was one of those who objected and who called uh, the validity of today's meeting into question. They keep, of course, calling uh, the coalition led by the DA in that metro. They've accused it of being arrogant, of being insensitive, of uh, treating the other parties, the minority parties, with some disdain. And they will say today is yet again an example of that. I explained uh, to uh, the rest of the councillors who remained behind in, in council that we had a technicality. On the day when the uh, agendas were printed, our in-house printing machines broke down and we had to outsource it to a uh, service provider. And you will agree that uh, there's a certain processes that must be followed to outsource which was done and the, uh, the agendas was then printed by an outside uh, uh, service provider and delivered. Unfortunately, some of the councillors, not all of them, some of the councillors received their agendas uh, a day late. But let me re read to you what the rule says. Rule 7.5 says, and I quote, let me just get to it. If one or more councillors fail to receive such notice, which refers to the agenda, such failure does not render the convening of such meeting invalid. So they had no case at all. The rule is quite clear. They just used this because they knew they didn't have the numbers. Mr. Lawak, I will put it and to you, if I may come in there. I'll, in council, I'll, Mr. Lawak, I'll put it to you that uh, regardless of how the rules may have been followed or not, uh, the essential thing that you're facing is certainly that the mayor in Nelson Mandela Bay uh, is a dead man walking. This all swung from a very last minute about turn from the Patriotic Alliance's Marlon Daniels. Had he not gone with you, this motion would have been carried. I must remind you where we, we were elected by a majority of voters in August 2016. And we just could not allow that to be, to be undone. So we set in motion 
a lot of activities and dealings behind uh, curtains, uh, so to speak, to make sure that we do not fail the, the residents of Nelson Mandela Bay. That, that is within our democratic right. And we persuaded the PA to rejoin us, which they did, and bad luck for the opposition parties. But you remain on a very we thin line. Uh, you remain on a very thin line on this matter. I mean, this is yes. a deeply unpopular mayor it's now turning out. Well, well, unpopular, why? Unpopular because he's white? Is he, is he unpopular because he doesn't steal? He's not corrupt? He doesn't appoint family and friends? He doesn't manipulate tenders? Is that why he's unpopular? So what happens now and what happens to the stability of uh, that metro? That is the question the opposition, you must pose that question to the opposition. They would do everything in their might to destabilize this administration. We are there to deliver services, they are there to fill their own pockets, to claim positions and to share the spoils amongst each other. That's why they are there. We are there to deliver services. We put the people first. And that's why we went all the way all to right, ensure Speaker, that we do Mr. not... Mr. Speaker, we're going to have to leave it there. We do thank you for your time. We do have to leave our conversation there. Of course, that is the Speaker of the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro, Mr. Jonathan Lawak. He says we must put questions to the opposition. We'll do just that. In a moment, we'll be speaking to the economic freedom fighters. Stay with us.